Welcome to Think Big with Dan and Kasim. Join host Dan Melnick and Kasim Masood as they explore big ideas, limitless possibilities, and engage with visionaries, entrepreneurs, and thought leaders who dare to dream big, get inspired, motivated, and find practical tips for personal growth. Think big, dream bigger, and ignite your potential. All right, welcome to Think Big with Dan and Kasim. And if you guys want to go ahead and introduce yourself. So, Michael, if you want to go first, just tell us um, where you live and what you do for a living. Yeah, my name is uh, Michael Spivak. I live in uh, Toronto, Canada. And uh, what I do for a living is take cold plunges and try and get other people in the cold as well. One of the co-founders here at uh, Culture and looking to keep spreading this mission worldwide. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, guys, my name is Daniel Mazur. I'm one of the co-founders here at Culture. Yeah, I spread good vibes, one ice bath at a time. So that's kind of my mission as well. Awesome. So how did you guys get the idea for this company? Michael? Yeah, or I, I can start. Yeah. So we each each had our own path to to kind of coming to the to, to the company. So my, my journey started when I, during COVID, I injured my knee and I uh, started basically doing ice baths at home in my tub, my little shallow tub. I was doing it every day. It was helping my knee so much. But not only that, it helped uh, my clarity and understanding, you know, the value of this. I decided to just like go all in and try to find one, try to procure one locally. And there was nothing, nothing around at the time. Actually, there was, I think the plunge was just um, spinning up. So, so yeah, it was, it was not accessible at all. So then we started going down this rabbit hole of trying to source kind of parts and, and, and try to, try to figure out a solution for, for the local market. At the same time, Mike was, you know, doing these community events out of his chest freezer, and um, yeah, and then we, we we came together and started 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 this business. So it's been an incredible ride so far. Mike, do you want to add anything about uh, your journey? Uh, yeah, like the the reason uh, to why I got in was you know I was dealing with a lot of mentally emotional challenges, and you know we're both very active athletes and always love moving the body. But for me, the reason why I got super into the cold and dove really deep into it was because uh, I, I really wanted to see how it could it could affect me mentally and emotionally and and if I did something uncomfortable every single day and whether I started with it in the morning or I did it before I went to bed just having that discipline kind of ingrained a new mindset within me that allowed me to be the person I am today so once, once I started feeling the benefits of that it kind of just changed my whole trajectory and I fall in love with it. I'm super passionate about it. And then I'm trying to give that over to other people as much as possible. That's awesome. Yeah, I feel like during COVID, that cold plunging became this like much bigger phenomenon. And obviously now it's like become a much more competitive space because and this yeah, comes sort of a good thing because there is more like um awareness to it. But I guess like, how do you guys compete or stand out in this market? Mm. Yeah, so... You're right. It has gotten a lot of competitive, and uh, when we started, it wasn't uh, it wasn't nearly as competitive. We were the we were the first ones in Canada to kind of take that jump, and now you see people popping up left, right, and center. And you know, the customers are now getting confused. They're like, "Oh, like who do we go with this?" You know, it looks similar to that, and people have a lot more questions. So it just comes down to like how well are we educating? You know, what 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 really makes us different in the end of the day and. What makes us different is is our product, our innovation, our, our chiller mechanics, the the way that it works compared to others. And now, as as there's more competition, that drives innovation. So competition is healthy. Uh, competition is something that we we enjoy. And Dan and I are competitive guys. So uh, when it comes down to that, it it kind of just puts a fire under our ass a little bit and drives us to create even better products than we had yesterday. And and it ha- that that ball is just gonna keep rolling at all costs. And then providing the best service on top of that, right? Because it's not just a product; it's also a service that comes with it, and uh, people are spending money on it. And there, there's certain expectations and deliverables that are set with that. So it's learning how to manage those, learning how to proactively uh, ensure that the the service is there and and at the the standard that people want and the standard that we communicate with the customers as well. So. Um, For sure. So I'm curious, like, how do you guys measure lifetime value? Because I feel like people often might be just buying one time. So do you have like other products that you upsell to people? Or I guess, like, what does that look like for you? Yeah, so everything that comes with our chillers, there's there's filter mechanisms that need to be replaced on a monthly basis. So uh, we've set up subscription programs recently to, to be able to cater that and have that monthly subscription aspect to it as well. Believe it or not, you know, some, some people just buy one, but many people buy one, two, three, four for multiple houses. 
um, if they can or not. And then uh, coming out with new products down the road, you know, we may have something coming out soon that is exciting and something that will appeal more to the mass. So more cold punch products, but uh, Danny, yeah, you want to want to add anything? Yeah, to wanna, that? yeah, I'd love to. Um, I think you made a good point that typically people just, you know, order just one product, but I think with us, it's delivering that great experience. So they refer a customer. So I think we, we quantify this like LTV of like, how well can we serve this one customer that they're going to bring recurring business from, from, from their friends and recommend us. So that's what we work really hard to do. And we're always have that, you know, top of mind. So, yeah. So it's like, it's almost like a referral game. Like how can we ensure a great experience? so that they spread the word to all their friends. Awesome. So in terms of your business today, is it mostly like D2C, retail, wholesale? I guess like, what does that look like? Or I guess like Amazon? Yeah, we're majority D2C, a little bit of a uh, little bit of retail, the B2B side, or things are, are ramping up because we are manufacturing our own chillers. Now we're, we're going to be able to really excel that B2B market uh, and, and get people going out there. Amazon soon to come, but majority is D2C. Hey y'all, it's Dan Melnick, the CEO of Zing, and I wanted to share a special offer for all of our listeners. Right now, if you need software development services, we'll give you two weeks of a free trial. You need to update your website. You want to build a mobile app. Do you want to update something that you've been working on for a long time? We've worked in a high-level technology like AI, machine learning, blockchain. So shoot me a text, 817-874-2208. Thank you. So in terms of being in retail, obviously it's going to take up like lots of space. So how do you sort of like navigate that? Or I guess like even like what kind of stores could you see your product being in? Yeah, I, I see our stores being in uh, stuff like Canadian Tire, which owns uh, multiple stores like Store Check and, and stuff like that. Um, having conversations with other buyers and other major retailers such as Costco and, and such. But usually those retailers want something more of a specific product, maybe at a lower price point. So who knows? Maybe there's maybe there's uh, something coming out there. Don't want to don't want to say too much for sure. Uh, but but yeah, there's there, there's a bunch that we're in talks with, and and usually it's it's more really like boutique shops, like hot tub wholesalers or people in the pools and supply space that that already have a customer base that are coming to them for saunas, uh, hot tubs, and such. Um, so those are the people that would be carrying it. Not would you say major retailers, but right. Um, so yeah. your business right now, I believe it's mostly in Canada. Like we were talking earlier. But- um, earlier so it's like are you looking at um scale up uh, more here in the states or like other countries what is your vision for growing it I mean, just across different areas yeah um in, in terms of vision across growing areas I, I think our goal from day one was to maximize and, and cater to the canadians as much as possible to start and, and really dominate here capture as much market share as we can proof of concept innovate and then take what we know and and take our bread and butter and now we're going to be launching to the states very shortly so we're excited for it we're going after specific states not all of the u.s um so we're trying to be very strategic with how we how we go into those states and not just start running paid ads and putting money and running dollars into that there's a little bit other avenues that we can take when, when, when going to a state where maybe not so many people know of our brand, like Canada. A lot of people do know of us here and, and we have a reputation here as there. We're going to have to, it's like almost starting like a new company. You got to, you got to relaunch it there and, and build a new reputation there and, and have all the servicing that we have set up there, um, set up here, set up there, keep all the, the same standards and protocols there. So there's, there's a lot of back end fundamentals that need to be in place for us to brought, like successfully launch into the States because there's one selling a product right you can you can sell a hundred dollar product and just launch it over there and have impulse purchases but this is not so much of an impulse purchase people are making big investments and they want to make sure great making the right investment so having educational material on the product on the brand on on the right channels and then being able to back that up with referrals word to mouth affiliates and all that all that fun stuff and then we're an experience-based brand too right people want to feel and touch it right people get hooked and want to buy it because they've experienced it before some of them around them have told them how good that they feel from it and the benefits they've gotten so events are also a, a big part of that as well so there are like certain states that you can share I mean, obviously like i'm in texas so i'm just curious like, i don't know if that's part of your plan uh, yeah texas mm-hmm. is definitely in there mm-hmm. um i don't know if i want to like say it all right away you know right, right, right. who knows is going to be watching this but uh, yeah, yeah it's for sure one of them 
100%. Okay, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, because uh, we're definitely a big market, you know, and especially like I'm in Austin. So like a lot of people are super into fitness and foraging. Yeah. So yeah. it's a good market for that. Uh, I'm just down in Houston. Those are all awesome. 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 So obviously now it's like uh, many companies are using high level technology like AI. So do you guys currently um, use AI? And if not, what do you think they could um, come in and add value for your business? Yeah, I, I think uh, I think AI we use it in, in, in different like workflows and in, in our certain processes and, and and stuff like that. But when it comes down to communication fronts with the customer, at the end of the day, they're spending lots of money. They want top notch service. They want someone who's real and there and be able to take care of them and think on the spot. And and yes, AI can definitely do that. And you can train it to be able to do it like that and prompt it and such and create scenarios like that so that it can you can leverage AI in, in many different ways. So kind of want to have that balance between the real touch and, and the AI touch, but for sure, AI is, uh, is everywhere now. It's in, it's, a, it's in almost every system and process that, that we have. So, yeah. For sure. So yeah. um, what would you guys say is like the one biggest piece of advice that you wish you knew before you started this business? I don't know. Danny, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Uh, I would say cheap is expensive and expensive is cheap. We got, uh, we got a firsthand, you know, taste of that when we were trying to explore, you know, trying to work with some of our suppliers and stuff like this. Um, never cut corners, always make sure that, you know, you're vetting and you're, 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 you're doing really good due diligence on everything. So, so yeah, so that, that was definitely a lesson that I would have loved to, to have ingrained in my mind before stepping into the ring. For sure. You might look yeah. anything from your side. I don't know if there's something that you wish you, um, you would have known or is that it for you too? Uh, yeah, I think that was, Definitely a good point. And based off what Daddy said is like, we're very product driven people. So learning that lesson early on was was like, okay, like we we understand now the fundamentals that it takes to be able to build. And, you know, that's what led us to build the pro plunge. And now that led us to, you know, manufacturing our own chillers and our own plants and, and all that yeah. aspects to it. So I think that's definitely a biggest learning lesson. And then also just being very clear with expectations and, and how you like to operate and, and knowing how to be very clear with that. And in communicating with others, uh, even as now as we're scaling the team and, and bringing more people on and working with uh, contractors or such, there's uh, there's a lot more that could that could go off. So you got to be very clear, uh, very clear with how you operate, clear with your expectations. And I think that'll take you a long way. So I think that's a valuable lesson that we've learned now. For sure. So if we're going to have this conversation again, I mean, one year from now, where do you see things going for your business? Yeah, I think I think in a year from now we're, we'll definitely be a bit like a household name in the in the cold plunge space in the U.S. That's for sure. Yeah, I think I think I think that's 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 a nice focused goal. Just we're gonna be a household name in in the states, and and we and over the year we would get in I don't know another fifty thousand people in the cold. How about that? There you go. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean that's a good goal. So we're. Um... We need for you guys. So if somebody watching this wanted to uh, reach out to you, do you mind sharing your website or social media? I guess best ways to get in contact. Yeah, it's uh, culture.com. Get on our website. We got our phone number all over the place there. You can email us. You can text us. You can call us. We'll answer the phone. We'll talk to you. We'll give you the education that you need and you want. And uh, we welcome all curiosity because uh, ask more questions is will lead you to the answers that you want and, and the direction that you want, even if you may not know what you want. But And then back to even the last one, like with Danny to be the household name is we really want to be the the top tier in the chiller game and that's where our focus is going and, and uh we we're, we're strongly believing in the fact that we're we're going to be the household name for the for the chillers and moving forward because uh we've gone through stuff that maybe other people haven't gone and now we have the resources to be able to make the best chiller in the game so that's that's our focus that's our focus awesome. that's yeah. exciting well guys thank you so much for your time today likewise thank you thank you, thank you. All right. take care All right. All right. bye